Gute. Are you using Home Assistant, a famous, great and open source software for smart homes? And are you using cloud-based text-to-speech services to generate announcement in your home? And would you like to reduce the number of cloud dependencies in your smart home? Then this video is for you, because today I will show you how easy it is to replace a cloud TTS service in Home Assistant with a locally running Mimic 3 text-to-speech instance. Mimic 3 runs on smaller devices even like a Raspberry Pi, offers multiple language support and has a nice quality in its voices. But before going into the details, I would like to recommend you checking out Louis' YouTube channel called Everything Smart Home. He produces really amazing content in general to Smart Home and in special to Home Assistant. I will link it down in the description below, so please check out Louis' YouTube channel on that. In today's test setup, I will use a Docker-based Home Assistant and the Docker-based Mimic 3 installation. And as Media Player instance, for outputting the synthesized text-to-speech audio, I will use my Sonos Play 1 speaker, which really works great because it's automatically discovered and configured by Home Assistant. Gude. Hacky, tacky, nerd stuff. Open voice enthusiast. Open voice, open future. Welcome to today's small technical walkthrough showing how to set up Mimic 3 as local text-to-speech solution in Home Assistant. And uh, yeah, let's directly go into our command line uh, to check our uh, Mimic 3 installation. So I've um, made a video previously on how to set up Mimic 3 in various ways. Uh, I will link it uh, in the video. And uh, first step is to take a list or to, to uh, take a look to the list of all available voices that come with Mimic 3. So let's run Mimic 3 and uh, minus minus voices as command line argument. This will print us a list on all, avail all available voices. And the first column, that key, is important because this key we later on have to add or to edit in our configuration jumble file in Home Assistant. So uh, I will use, for this demonstration purpose, uh, I will use an English voice from uh, Linda Johnson based on a famous dataset called LJ Speech. So this is the first step. We now have the key that is required for the Home Assistant configuration. Now let's run our Mimic 3 minus server process. This will bring up a simple um, web server with an API backend and it's available on port 59125. And uh, if you ever had experience with another text-to-speech solution called Mary TTS, you might be familiar with that specific port. Mimic 3 is compatible by the backend to Mary TTS, so you can use any software that supports right now Mary TTS and just replace Mary TTS with Mimic 3, as I will show you now in Home Assistant. So let's just check that our Mimic 3 server is up and running correctly. And for that, let's go to our browser and open, open localhost port 59125. And here we are. So the simple web UI is up and running. And now let's open the Home Assistant. For this demonstration, I have set up a Home Assistant as a Docker container. So it's just a simple, basic setup. So let's open it. And login. And as you can see, the only entity I have configured in this Docker-based uh, configuration is my a media player instance with the Sonos Play 1. So, next step is we have to configure Home Assistant to use the Mary TTS configuration for Mimic 3. So, and for that, let's switch to our text editor. And I already, uh, already opened the configuration JAML file. You probably are familiar with when you work with Home Assistant for more than a day. And uh, now let's uh, 
check on how to set it up. So let's just take a look to the documentation. See home assistant Mary TTS. Here we are. Scrolling a little bit down to the configuration examples. We have the platform that has to be set to Mary TTS. We can add host, local host and the port, but in general, in my local setup, uh, as all is running on home, uh, on local host, this should not be required, but I will um, enter it to have all information or all values at one place. But more important is that voice key, because this is, or this value is the same as we have seen while running Mimix 3 minus minus voices. So let's just copy this one and go back to our text editor. And let's add Mary TTS. Host, local host and the port. And the voice is the LJ speech voice. And that's all. Let's save it. So now let's go back to Home Assistant and check if things uh, are set up correct. For that, I will go to Developer Tools and check Configuration. So still valid and restart Home Assistant. Uh, you can probably uh, choose just to reload uh, the configuration by running this, uh, the, the service. But uh, restarting Home Assistant completely will obviously work too. So. Now, as I've adjusted configuration, restarted Home Assistant, let's go and create a simple automation. And for that, we will go here. No, let's start with an empty automation and call it Mimic3TTS. Let's skip triggers, conditions, and just hop on to the actions and call a service. And if things go right, we should have a Mary TTS service yes and um, we can choose which media player instance we have it's just uh, the sonos play one in my case uh, we can enable caching and we could specify a language but this isn't really uh, necessary uh, necessary because uh, we um, have chosen the voice in the configuration jumble uh, chosen from the list of Mimix 3 voices. So let's just enter the text and um, the garage door is open for 10 minutes. Please check and close the door. And just run this, this action. The garage door is open for 10 minutes. Please check and close the door. Working great. This was really fast, maybe too fast because I tested this phrase uh, previously and this could be within the cache. So let's try a new phrase. And let's test this one. Thank you for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel if you like. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Uh, listen to that wise voice. <laughs> wise voice. Hmm. Um, yeah, and really, thank you for watching my videos, for uh, commenting, and um, if you like, we can see us next time. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.